The Colliery Dam Preservation Society is asking for the public's help in finding ways to save the dams. Last night, the Society held its first public information session, and more than 150 people turned out to voice their concerns. A lot of them want to see the historic dams rebuilt and the park left unharmed. But the city is already making plans to drain the lakes this summer. CTV's Jet Bazzi has the story. The flood of support to save the Colliery Dams is getting stronger. There's no need to remove them dams. Members of the community rallied at a local high school to voice their opinions about the future of Nanaimo's hidden gem. There's still an awful lot of interest and, and, and concern about what's going to happen with the park. The park is a popular destination. It has an abundance of trails and two big lakes. The kids come in here in, in uh, summertime and they go swimming and they go fishing in here too. Soon the water from the lakes will be drained, but many hope the bodies of water will be restored. Having the water taken out temporarily is okay. The city of Nanaimo says the dams are in poor shape, the infrastructure is cracked, and the BC Dam Safety Branch has labeled both the middle and lower Chase River dams at the highest risk level. There is concern that a major seismic event could crumble the walls and flood the nearby homes. Public safety is the number one issue we're dealing with. The Colliery Dams Preservation Society says the decision to demolish the dams came without public consultation and is working to find options to save them. It had asked council to bring all the stakeholders to the table. On Monday, it got its wish. First of all, we were able to clarify what options may be uh, potentially viable, um, as well as uh, the staff did say very, very clearly that we were to be involved um, in this process. The society is now gathering opinions and options that would save the park. Nanaimo's mayor says City Hall will listen and then finalize the dam's future. What we're doing is taking a, a second look at it. We're, we've got the engineers working on it and uh, all the information will be made public as quickly as it can be. Whether to remove or to rebuild, it will cost the city big money to resolve this big problem. We're still talking millions of dollars no matter how you do it. And it's taxpayers' money, so it's a balance of providing safety, providing uh, community amenity in a lovely park, and being able to uh, mitigate the costs, which are high. The dam's future is not set in stone. The city and the society are working together to find a compromise, a resolution that would save the park, save homes, and save lives. Jeff Bassey, CTV News, Nanaimo.